Forza Horizon 4. We had our final stream talking about Forza Horizon 4 and we got to see spring. Spring has sprung, the snow is gone, but the grounds are still very wet. That's the theme of spring in the UK. And I can say that's pretty accurate. We asked salt all over the roads and actually felt like we still got snow months after. So, hey, there's still snow in the background in the mountains. If you, if you can, I probably doubt that you can drive on those mountains because... We know you know how that works, but straight away jumping in the gameplay looks beautiful The colors are bright and colorful and I will actually adjust the colors a little bit to show you that it is a little bit more colorful On stream than it actually is on these videos because unfortunately the, the recording is not so great all the time There's a lot of exploration involved in the demos that they keep showing They keep showing a lot of verticality climbing up mountains and stuff Which again, I've mentioned a million times before but it's not usually a thing in Forza usually you're limited to barriers. There's a barrier there that doesn't let you up that mountain, and you're like, mate, that mountain, I can see, I should drive up it. You can do it. But one huge point they wanted to make upon the fact of, you know, in the previous games, it's been a little bit difficult to distinguish for some people which trees are hittable or not. And that's an issue with a lot, a lot of games have, a lot of racing games, which things are hittable, which aren't. Forza has worked that system out in this game. Little trees and smaller trees are easily hittable and destructible. You will know if you can take that tree down or not. The big ones, you can't, you can't do it. I'm sorry. The big trees, you will stop still dead. Good. I'm glad it's not just knocking all the trees down because that would just... Deforestation is not a good thing, okay? Unless you're building stuff and then you plant more trees. That's okay. Six radio stations are in this game too, which is I think more than previous games. I'm not exactly sure, but there's some new stations in here, including Rock, which is a new radio station called uh, Horizon XS, I believe it is. Uh, this XS, XS station is going to have rock music, which I don't think there's really been rock music, at least since the first game. I don't think they have had rock music for a while at least. And... I'm glad they're actually finally adding that in. We've got a nice mix. Obviously, Horizon is still usually about that drum and bass stuff, which Hospital Radio, in my opinion, I actually don't really like drum and bass that much, but I'm glad that it's in the game because it's drum and bass suits racing games a lot. Well, the, the Hospital Radio that actually makes is a proper station and makes music. I didn't even know that until the stream, but they are actually introducing brand new tracks into this game unheard of tracks into the game, which is pretty cool that they're debuting it with the game. Not many games get to do that. It's a great opportunity to hear some new tunes if you're really into that type of music. There you go. And one thing I had a question about other than this amazing looking stuff going on here. It looked incredible. Why? Okay, why can we have window stickers on this Focus RX? I think it's called the Rally Cross Focus, but we can't actually do it ourselves. Hmm. What? Why is that not possible? I think it should be possible. I think it should be doable. Get it done. Please play ground games. I beg of you. And we actually got a little sneak peek at a vehicle that they're adding to the game. Sound recording wise, they did some sound recording for it. And I imagine this is going to be a drivable vehicle. If not, why not? You have the ability to do so, please. <laughs> a tractor. That's right. They're adding a tractor into the game. This is the best thing ever. They've got trucks. It makes sense. Get it done. The roads are wide enough to have three things in one lane why not tractors next up in the stream they showed off team adventure team adventure is uh similar to horizon adventure in the previous games except they changed it up a little bit made it a little bit more exciting so there's five events and it's the first to win overall so generally you get like four points to one whatever that's i think that's how much they won on, the, on this stream which was pretty brutal actually and pretty fun uh, the, but there are actually three different modes of it there is racing there is game modes and there is then mixed so you can do a mix of these games so the game modes you may remember they're like infected and that kind of thing they return but these team based ones they've actually introduced a new one which is shown on stream which i think is super exciting survival which is pretty pretty similar to what infected is it's pretty much the same concept but you can actually heal people as well. And once that round is complete and everybody's been eliminated, that time that it took you to do it, your team to, to infect everybody and, and kill everybody, if you will, then you actually have to do the reverse and beat their time to infect all the other players. So it's a cool play on the infected game mode where you can actually, you know, revive people. So when you're out, it's not totally out. You run up to your teammates or they run up to you and you heal each other. It makes it much more less less um, you're out and you're out. But those game modes, I hope, still exist in the base game. But this is obviously 
the, the cool way to have the team-based game mode back and forth, constant battle. There's ranks and unranked, which is pretty sweet for those that like that. There are different type of rankings and there's like leagues and all that kind of stuff. But basically, if you want to know, there's ranked and unranked. Pretty much explains everything. And not only that, but you can also make teams. I guess this is like similar to the club system in previous Horizon games, but it may be, it may be a bit more tight knit. So you can actually create a group of your friends that you play regularly with. And you can actually make a logo for this. I imagine with the Forza livery editor and stuff, they basically have that. And you can make your own logo, which is pretty sweet. And I hope that's club wide as well because i'd like to have clubs with logos that would be amazing and finally we got a look at edinburgh which looks really really nice i i have to say that they spoke about this in the stream why they didn't do london they didn't do london because it's too big i personally think they could have done central london there is a lot of you know monuments that they have, would have had to make to be fair and stuff with edinburgh it's a really nice city and for, it doesn't take as much work as say london would do to create because there's so many more kind of the, the Shard, the Big Ben, the London Eye, London Bridge, Tower Bridge. There's, there's just a lot of stuff in there they would have to make to make it actually even just central London. But I hope that at some point somebody does a proper London game because that would be amazing. But Edinburgh is the subject. Really, really sweet. I've never actually been. I'm planning to go at some point. Um, it, it looks like the biggest city I've seen in a Forza game. Quite frankly, it, I'm, I'm glad that's the case because the Forza cities have generally been pretty rubbish. But this is a UK city. And if I don't see blockiness, it ain't a UK city. It looks blocky. I'm excited. There's street races in the game again. They're all at night. Okay. But that's all right. Street racing. And uh, while mentioning that it's only at, light, at night, they've updated the lighting model at night. So Edinburgh especially looks amazing at night. Really, really, really nice at night. I'm, it, they've reworked the lighting model to make it more like the crew in where you can see at night. It's much more... Accepting the fact that you should be able to see driving around a city like this and it's a bit more forgiving So you don't just see nothing and it's just you know Hoping that your headlights actually show you the way to because that ain't the case But it, it would be pretty cool if that was the case in an option or something in the future But uh, that's pretty much it this the stream didn't go on to I mean it went on quite a little bit longer than this because they had a few hiccups But the game is looking great. This is the last stream of the seasons and I'm now sad and hoping that the demo comes out soon because I really want to try this game for myself other than the, the same race over and over again that I did at E3 because I know when games come, they're going to have the same race over, over, over again. But if you're excited for Horizon 4, you're already in the right place. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to smash like, subscribe. I already said that. <laughs> and I will see you in the next video. And tomorrow, friends, we're talking about cars. Real ones. Peace.